And okay, I'm finally doing some extreme overclocking once again at my home, now with the 775 platform, as uh, it's kind of usual on my channel, and the last remaining Intel Core to Duo E4000 series CPU, which is the E4700. Before my trip to Taiwan, I actually purchased uh, a lot of those CPUs from China, like 20 pieces or so. So the CPU we are going to be testing right now is the best CPU out of those CPUs. The CPU doesn't seem like over, overwhelmingly good, if you ask me, only like 4 GHz something on the core, on water cooling. The FSP is not the case with this CPU model as we have a multiplier of like 13. So the top scores are made at like 400 FSP, so we shouldn't be hitting any FSP walls whatsoever. I already have the other CPUs like E4300, stunning E4400, E4500 and E4600. So this will be the last one and it would be awesome to nail the last remaining score from this series of CPU models. Now, uh, I had the uh, memory Fujitsu issue on my Team Finland Rampage Extreme, so I'm just using uh, more like uh, uh, baseline dominators, high, LP to hyper memory, just in case something goes wrong, as I had some posting issues uh, with this setup like a moment ago when I tried to get this system running, but now it seems to be working. Uh, there's uh, Something could be like contact issue at the memory slots, but at least I uh, removed one small black resistor got loose from the uh, uh, CPU VRM from the back side of the board, but the, so far the system seems to be working, so I just want to give this a go very very quickly, see if we can do anywhere near the top scores, because the validation is at like 5.4, benches are at like 5.1 to 5.2, so the target is definitely quite high. So uh, not sure at all can we reach the top scores with this particular CPU, but let's give it a go anyways. So yeah, so uh, F1 Dark CPU container as always, I'm using the pink thermal paste as I have tons of that stuff from Computex, Rampage Extreme Team Finland Edition. Those memories are Domin Dominator GT 2000 Cas7 sticks from uh, uh, Giggles. NVIDIA 6500GT for the monitor signal with capture card as always and C-Sonic Prime 1300W Platinum and Windows XP and Server 2003. So let's keep our fingers crossed and let's see what happens. Okay, minus 115, we are at 4940. Decent start. So far, well, at least yet no issues with the board. I actually don't ha don't know what's the top score. Need to check with my phone. Okay, it's 14, 9, 4, 5. Let's check what's this. Goes to 5, 1. Should be 15 point something. Efficiency was bad, but yeah, I kind of expected it. Okay, I think 945, 984, so we are very close on the top score already. Very good sign, 1.88 volts, minus, minus 127 at the moment, this is 52, so this will be rank 1 from TAG. Sad day for TAG, happy day for me. But honestly, there are some very good CPUs in the rankings, like someone ran uh, 4.3 on air cooling. 
uh, with 1.55 volts. That's definitely a strong E4700. But yeah, this is the new top score with the Core to Duo E4700, 14.812, previous top score by 14.945 at like 52 by tag from Austria as always. But I wanna just go to the max straight away instead of just uh, messing around over here. Temperatures probably go even higher. So this is 5.3. Obviously this CPU is not as uh, competed as the other models. But there are some decent submissions nonetheless anyways. We could try sub 14 seconds. <laughs> now you all say, damn that guy is stupid because he doesn't save the score. No, we go straight for the top. Straight to the top. 5-4. Remember the highest validation is 543 and we are almost benching at that frequency, it's kinda, kinda enormous. Minus 130. So maybe sub 14? 14249 Yeah, we want one second improvement because you all remember what kind of person I am. I demolish these uh, rankings. Okay, five five. It can do five five, I'm sure. Okay, hard to boot like four twenty FSP. Gonna run this once. Yeah, I think 5.5 five is the limit. Yeah, okay, this is weird. So, set FSP crashes the system. So, let's run 1024 amp uh, at this frequency 5425. Previous rank one score is by tag at 52 or so. Okay, the efficiency was bad, at least like 15 seconds, 10 to 15 seconds off. The other, uh, this, the other of the calls was like bugging. It sometimes happens when you are on the edge. Needs a better run, whatever. But anyways, <coughs> new 
rank one score in W Prime 1024M with the Intel Core 2 Duo E4700 for this 464.734 previous top score by Tag from Austria at 485.877, so like 21 second improvement. This is at the previous validation frequency level 5.425 and tag was at 5.205 so monster clocks on the CPU yeah I can re rerun this later now what I want to do is I want to try the validation very quickly at like 5.5 Feel the second voice better. No. Okay, five six maybe for validation. Benchmarking, no. Benchmarking, no. We might do like five, 550, something like this. CPU likes to be somewhere around minus 135. Performance level is correct. Memory would help a little bit, but it doesn't uh, compensate enough for the uh, lower CPU frequency because of the FSP limit. I'm sure I can do under 18 seconds if I really push it. No. Let's do one M quickly. So one M at five point fifty five. Point three twelve. No idea on the rank one score. But this definitely should be the best. With a huge margin. So one M is ten point seven oh three. So this is four hundred millisecond gain. So 0.4 seconds faster than the previous top score by tag from Austria. Good. The only one remaining is, and it crashed. The only one remaining is the 32 amp. So let's do it. Oh boy, I thought it would be even better. Like sub nine minutes, but this is already the fastest. Allendale, I think. If these are Allendale, they, these should be not like the same Conros as uh, E6000 series CPUs. But anyways, the new Super 532 m top score for the Intel Core to Duo E4700 at a whopping 5.525 gigahertz, 9 minutes, 11.360 seconds. So uh, the previous top score was by tag at 9 minutes, 55.719 or 718, so this is like a 44 second improvement. <laughs> Absolute monster clocks on the CPU. He was at 5280, but a higher, but at higher uh, FSP for higher memory. 
similar memory timings. This is 664.18. I think he was like 665.18. So pretty similar stuff. Rampage Extreme 1301 bows. Yeah. I think I could do a bit more. But sub 9 minutes. Probably not gonna do it with this CPU. But this CPU is already absolutely phenomenal. So this is faster Superbike 32M than what I did with the E4400 or E4500 or E4600. So this is absolutely huge. Seven. This is definitely a good result now. I want to see five six. Wanna see five six? Five six oh. Okay, I think we got it. Five six thirty five. That's two hundred megahertz higher. Don't know if we got it, but that's two hundred megahertz higher than the previous rank one score invalidation. And okay, it actually went much better than I expected at the start because I really thought something went completely wrong for good with this motherboard. But anyways, now we control all of the important top scores with all of the E four thousand series Core two Duo CPU models. So. Uh, the W primes could have been a bit better, like I was close on uh, going under 14 seconds in W prime 32. I think the best one I actually saved was like 14.4, 14.2, something I don't really, uh, I don't really uh, remember. The 1024 m a pretty nice 20 second improvement, although it could have been a bit better, like close to 30 second improvement if I didn't have that efficiency bug during the test. Pi fast we go under 18 seconds so like I think it was like 17.97 and I think tag was at like 18.4 to 18.5 had lower CPU frequency but higher memory super by 1m a pretty nice 0.4 second improvement over the previous rank one score made by tag from Austria and the highest CPU Z validation I think it was 5.635 so around 200 megahertz higher than the previous rank one score made by some as made by some american guy so yeah so uh, huge results along the way i didn't expect this cpu to be this good considering i really thought it was kind of average on water but it turned out pretty all right so all of these scores will be uploaded to hardwarebot.org as always so definitely check out the scores if you are interested in them Please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Maybe check out my Patreon page as well if you want to support my work. And yeah, thanks for watching some of my legendary legacy overclocking content once again. And I will see you on the next one.